gosh, uh, what's happening to our capital DC rate? When digital core rate was hit by the bankruptcy of one of its top 10 tenants, I just felt that capital DC should not have the similar chances of a tenant defaulting or so. But as you know uh, of Murphy's Law, um, I'm kind of lucky to have my own capital DC read facing this issue. Um, perhaps I should have channeled that lucky energy to strike lottery. No, uh, I only buy lottery if the reward is huge. I wasn't emotional to sell uh, capital DC read away. So when this uh, tenant default, so-called letter of demand was being issued. I was aware of this customer concentration risk uh, five months ago. Uh, I'll place that video link uh, in the video description. Based on its third quarter results, uh, the top 10 tenants contribute 78.4% and this risk became evident when interest rates increased and it resulted in a tougher operating condition for both Capital DC and the tenant. In a nutshell, on what's the impact uh, on Capital DC? Uh, there is a 0.655 cents impact or a 6.4% of its FY22 DPU. How big is my Capital DC holdings? I have 11 lots and invested 23,000 into it. The crucial question will be, will I buy Capital DC right now in spite of the current interest rates and uncertainty. Psst, uh, secret coming up next. Uh, I submitted a buy order of uh, 1.75. It's probably a walk off price because my original reason of buying Capital DC is still valid, which I have shared in a video when I first started off uh, putting Capital DC in my portfolio. The second reason for buying, uh, which you must pay attention, is is this incident a one-off that we foresee in the next five years uh, of business? Of course, the worst case scenario will be, yes, they can't collect and Capital DC in decides to write off this Guantong uh, DC investment and sell off. But there's a silver lining in the option, which is it lowers their aggregate borrowing limit. Uh, but please take note, it is definitely a little falling knife uh, should another tenant default because of the core risk, which is the tenant concentration risk. So I suppose you will agree that it is good to know how we die so that at least we know where not to go and die. I remember this uh, wisdom phrase from uh, both Warren and Charlie. Definitely there are a few questions that I want to ask during the annual general meeting. So. The first question would definitely be, uh, what did my management learn from this incident? And more importantly, it is how does my customer onboarding team in Capital DC read? Verify and certify our customers. This next point, uh, I learned it from another Telegram group. This acquisition was done one year ago. So it's kind of new. And to have this thing happening, it probably meant probably mattered a lot because is there an internal weakness in the customer credit worthiness assessment framework? And are there different customer treatments across different types of leases like uh, triple net lease, double net lease, co-location, fully fitted, shell and core? Because these are the very crucial questions to ask. With this knowledge, I know what I need to do next in order to reduce my risk. And what could be done to treat such scenarios if it happens again? Could it be like a court order or a business eviction? So those are the questions that I have. My third reason is practical, which is reducing my average buying cost. So with all this jittery and concern about data centers right now, uh, I wanted to ensure that you're aware of this point if you have these two reads, digital core, and Maple Tree Industrial, uh, it is regarding their data centers operating in the United States. So watch this next video so that you're aware of what you're holding. So I'll see you in the video. And if you like to keep yourself updated of future videos when I release, uh, consider subscribing.